Logan Paul opens up about fighting a music artist and the story is hilarious. Plus, Jake Paul reveals the one person he's not willing to box against. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your YouTube roundup, but before we begin, make sure you've hit the sub, like, and bell button for all the latest news on your favorite celebs. Let's start with Jake doing numbers. Massive numbers. According to Fight TV CEO Mike Weber, the Tyson vs. Roy Jones Jr. event had roughly 1.2 million pay-per-view buys. Apparently, a big reason the numbers were so high is because of Snoop Dogg. Just kidding, low hanging fruit. Part of the reason the numbers were so high is due to Jake, as Fight TV CEO believes he pulled in 40% of the fans. This is interesting, but not surprising to learn, especially after the crew questioned whether Jake could pull massive numbers as a main card boxer. I want to say Jake can clearly headline, but then again, Logan also brought up the fact that many attendees actually began to congratulate him for knocking Nate Robinson out. It became so frequent, he apparently didn't bother to correct them at one point. But all right, to a boxing match that's not happening, Jake Paul versus Joe Weller. Recently, there's been headlines going around claiming the two would join the Evander Holyfield vs. Glenn McCrory undercard at the O2 in April. However, Joe was quick to confirm the news is false. I'm kind of upset because now I can't make a Joe Mama joke when people ask me who Jake's next opponent is. And on that note, Jake has been doing a ton of press after his fight, revealing he's basically down to throw hands with anyone who's anyone, with one huge exception. In a recent interview with Josiah Johnson, Jake was asked if he'd be down to fight LeBron James, and he flat out said no, claiming the basketball player is too big. I second this, considering LeBron could jump across the canvas in a single jump. And speaking of ball players, it also seems like a Meadow World piece is calling out Jake. However, he wants their fight to be outside the boxing ring on the basketball court. It takes a decade for the next curse to wear off, so I think Jake should go for it. But all right guys, back to Impulsive now. Logan Paul doubled down on his comments on wanting to fight his ex, Josie's dad, Jose Canseco. After further disrespecting the former baseball player, Logan opened up about a fight he almost lost not too long ago, and it was against music artist Bozzy. Yes, Bozzy. Logan revealed the two were hanging out one night and Bozzy challenged him to a friendly wrestling match. To Logan's surprise, the artist took it very seriously and he was shocked by Bozzy's strength. At some point, he put him in a headlock, but eventually Logan was able to escape it. And I don't know, I don't know why I'm breaking this fight beat by beat. I just, I thought the story was hilarious. We'll link to the full episode in the comments below. But all right, let me know who you think that Jake Paul should fight next. And don't forget to hit the sub, like, and bell button and follow me on social media at Ali Stegnita. Bye, guys.